Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and this is my Back to Beauty No Buy Year. Today I'm using my makeup to bring to you the last installment in my Lip Declutter series. Today we're going to be swatching and decluttering all of my bold lippies. That includes my reds, my vampies, and my crazy colors. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. So let's go ahead and start with my wacky colors. <laughs> These are just my bold, bright, and very unique shades. Starting with one that I will never get rid of, and it is MAC, and it's in their frost line called On and On. And this is a plum sheer plummy base with a turquoise reflect and I absolutely love this hopefully that's good for you to see but it does have a turquoise reflect I love this I've I love pairing it with cool tone looks especially if there's turquoise involved so this puppy's not going anywhere legitimately probably in my top three lipsticks in my collection and that's saying something Next is one that I received as a promo code at Sephora, and it is the Tom Ford Lip Color in the shade True Coral. This baby is bright. And I do love coral lipsticks. I'm not for sure why I don't reach for this one more. This one does verge on being more to the red side of coral. I do like it with more of a nude um, lip liner just to give a little definition to my lips when I wear this um, so I do think I'm going to keep it for now I'd like to give it a try this summer and see what I think once I have a little more color to my skin and we'll go from there and keeping on with the coral theme I think we'll just go ahead and swatch the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Neon Carnival, and this is Neon. <laughs> it's, it's something. <laughs> it really is. It's really pretty, and again, I'm not for sure why I don't reach for it, but again with this one, I'm going to keep it through this round, see if I make use of it this summer, and then go from there. And then my last coral lippy, which I know I'm not getting rid of, is the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Lipstick in the shade Luminous Coral. This is probably my, not probably, this is my favorite coral lipstick to wear. It looks nice on my lips and it's a very forgiving coral. It's not super bright. You can build it up a little bit, but you can also just wear a sheer wash of coral color so this puppy is staying as well and then my last crazy wacky lip color is this one that I received from BoxyCharm and I literally have not worn this since I tried it on in my BoxyCharm unboxing and try on this is the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick in the shade K-Dub and it's like a, it's a really beautiful color. It's like an orchid purpley pink shade. However, I just don't think it looks good on me. I'd love to have a shirt this color. I just don't know that I want to wear a, this lip color. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one. I don't even really like the formula of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. So I don't know why I'm rooting so hard for this one. So I do think I'm going to get rid of it, but I'm going to put it in the maybe pile and we'll revisit it at the end. I think next we'll go ahead and do my vampy lipsticks. And this is a category where I'm pretty sure I will be getting rid of one. <laughs> uh, so the first one is this Sephora lipstick. I forget the name of it. It came to me from a friend who got it in a Sephora play. It says Sephora Rouge Matte in the shade M11, maybe. Um, it's really pretty. Definitely a vampy shade. Um, kind of like a warm burgundy, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just burgundy. 
but I do like this shade and I actually do like it in this matte formula. If I'm going to wear a vampy lip or I'm going to wear a red lip, I want to know that it's not going to budge on me, so I am going to keep this one. I think it's going to be beautiful for fall. Not that there's any rules, don't come for me. Uh, next is a lip gloss. This is the NYX Intense Butter Lip Gloss in the shade Toasted Marshmallow. This is a really beautiful color. However, as I just spoke about, hey, look how pretty that is. Um, it's a beautiful shade. However, I don't use it because it's such a dark shade. I don't trust it in a lip, a lip gloss format. Um, I'm always afraid it's going to travel outside the lip line and schmear and make me look like a crazy woman. So I actually am going to declutter that one. Um, next is another one I'm not for sure about. This is the MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick in the shade Burnt Violet. This has made it through to clutters before, I think simply because it's a MAC lipstick. However, I did not choose this for myself. I got it in a boxy charm. And again, you can see that it's really dark and vampy. Um, it's a pretty color and I've held on to it thinking, well, maybe I'll want it in the fall. Let's go ahead and set this one to the side with our maybe pile and we'll come back to it at the end of the vampy lips because next is one of my favorite vampy lips. In fact, this is my husband's very favorite lipstick on me. Every time I wear it, he's like, damn girl, which who doesn't want to hear that? So this is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Ripe Berry. I'm pretty sure my girl Angela has this one as well looks like this and this is like my perfect I don't even know what you would call it <laughs> my perfect dusty berry burgundy goodness I do love this lipstick this would be a lipstick if I used it up I would repurchase it because I just think it's a very nice shade for me so I'm going to keep that one and the next two I know I'm going to keep, but we're going to swatch them for comparison's sake. My very favorite matte lip formula of all time is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. And this one is in the shade Damned. And I got this in a trio, and I love this color. There it is. And this is a formula that I like for darker vampire shades like if I had a red in this which I would love um, that would be wonderful so I'm definitely keeping that one it's somewhat similar to the ripe berry and also similar to the MAC one and definitely in a formula that I prefer so I'm going to let go of the MAC one look at me go and the last vampy lip in my collection is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck liquid lip crayon in the shade plum and get it I love this formula this is insane I will definitely be buying more of these after my no buy year is over this is a beautiful plum but I don't know it has some iridescence to it it goes on like a regular lipstick but it's so smooth and slick that it feels like you're putting on a liquid and it sets down and it's a beautiful plummy shade with an iridescent shift. So this is not going anywhere. I don't even remember where I got this. If I purchased it, I don't know, but I love this and I want more of these. So that's that. So we did get rid of two. <laughs> um, vampy lips all right now the last category which is my red lippies and i know i'm going to probably get rid of at least one in this category um one i will not be getting rid of however is the smashbox the legendary liquid lipstick in the shade boss this is my perfect red i love the way this looks I really like the formula on this as well, which was surprising to me. This is like the sample size, deluxe sample size I got from my girl Angela. And when it's gone, I will probably repurchase it because it is just the perfect red for my lips. Keeping that. 
Another one I'm going to keep because I love it so much. First of all, check this packaging. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like a bullet lipstick. It's actually a liquid lipstick from the brand Hank and Henry. It is their Lip Aesthetic Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Petal Pusher. Again, from BoxyCharm. And I love this. This is like a really beautiful, like, dusty, muted red. Um, and I just, it's very flattering, again, on my skin tone as a red. Um, it's a little bit more forgiving, not quite so bold. So it goes with a lot of looks. Um, and I do use this one regularly. And then we have the <clears throat> Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipstick in the shade Pioneer. I used to really love these, but that was at the very beginning of my journey in beauty. And while this is a really pretty color for me, this is a really uncomfortable formula. It does not reapply over itself well at all. And for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and let this one go because I do have my perfect red. And then we have two that I'm definitely not sure about. The first one is the ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is the only lippy stick I've ever tried. And this is in their matte formula in the shade Frenchy. I also have the matching lip liner to this. And this is actually a really pretty red. And it's kind of a different, almost an orangey red. Um... So there's that one. I do think I'm going to keep this one through this round of declutters because I actually haven't worn it a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to keep that one, see what we think. And then the last one is the Burt's Bees lipstick in the shade Ruby Ripple. This one made it through my last round of declutters, but I do think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see or not. But there is some kind of like texture developing on the top of this that makes me uncomfortable. And I don't know. It's very, you can see, it's very streaky. It's just odd. I think it needs to be thrown away, actually. I think it's like expired, not healthy. It's a bummer. And in comparison, I have a nude color in the same line that I bought around the same time and that one is fine so I think this one needs to go. I'd smell it but I wouldn't be able to smell it so. And then coming back to K-Dub from Kat Von D. I don't know. It almost looks like it would do, it would look nice with the look I have on today. Should we try this one on? Let's do it for shits and giggles. How about that? Again, I'm not a huge fan of the formula. The color is actually pretty on. I can see it getting even prettier as my skin deepens. So I think I'm going to keep it through this round. But if I don't use it before the next round, we are going to disband with it. Just to recap, this round we got rid of four lip bees. We got rid of one liquid lipstick two bullet lipsticks, and a lip gloss. Not bad, not as great as my other categories, but this is a smaller category, and we kept 10. That's not bad. Getting rid of four, keeping 10. I feel pretty good about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter series. I'm gonna put on the screen right here how many total lippies that I decluttered during this series between my nudes, my pinks, and my bolds. And whatever that number, I feel good about it. I feel confident about the products that I decluttered and I feel good about the products that I kept. I definitely feel like I whittled down my collection of lippies quite a bit so that I can start focusing on the things I love and quit feeling guilty about the things that I don't. And with all of that said, I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful lipstick makeup days and I will see you in my next video soon. Mm -hmm.